Time to put it up. What's up, guys? Zach, wet and dirty outdoors. Hey, today we're going to make a little potato gun. I'm going to start off by cutting what I want of this four inch pipe. <laughs> Toss that. We don't need no more of that. Hydrate. Want to get a good seal on all my stuff. So I want to clean it all off. You want to make sure you goop up your glue. Set your just thread it in. Got your lid. There ain't no glue on there. You don't want that thing to get stuck. And then, Lowe sells these pre-cuts. That's about as long as I really want it right there. Kind of one of those short and, a little shorter and stubby. And cram! Oh. Right there. is the skeleton of a one hitter quitter. Uh, no, this is a potato gun, potato launcher. Man, they're so simple guys, so simple. Now this is a 5 8 hole punch here. Hell, I don't know what you call them, but it's just a tad bit bigger than my igniter here. Wherever you want your igniter. Punch our igniter through. You're gonna have to have some extra wire for your igniter in there. Um, It normally don't just do real good like that. So, we're gonna let this set up and dry overnight and shoot that thing first thing in the morning and I'll have this igniter set up. And uh, she should be a little, little firecracker right there. But it's so simple guys, it's quick, simple. Just don't get stuck you know, overthinking it. Now you can make it as bad as you want to, I guess. I bought tons of more stuff to make more guys. Look, y'all fed me tons of ideas. I've got some ideas and uh, some of y'all talked about filling it up with propane, not doing that, even though it's probably a good idea. Not doing that, I'm trying not to kill myself. I know most of your aerosol stuff is propane driven, but I feel like with, could be wrong, I feel like with the deodorant and uh, hairspray in it, it kind of acts as like a damper, so it's not as much of an explosion. So 10 out of 10, don't recommend uh, sparking that igniter button while wow, you got some glue drying. Now, I know this looks pretty janky, but um, I find that if I put some wire in there for that arcer to arc to, it gets a little bit more, a little more zesty more often. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't ignite your igniter until that stuff is dry. Uh, just word of the wise. Don't ask me how I know.
I was waiting on it to dry. I painted it. I mean, everybody else paints their guns. Why can't I paint my spud gun? You know what I mean? <laughs> We're about to go test it out. It's been a couple hours. It's been drying. That's one of the biggest things. Make sure you let your glue dry. I probably ain't let it dry long enough. But it's been a couple hours. So I'm okay with it. We're going to test it out. And uh, we're going to see. So I want to show y'all my buddy's house. <laughs> my buddy's house is right up there. Roughly, I don't know. Ah. 200 yards to the shop. <laughs> Oh, let's find. Oh, I might not have a potato big enough. I got all these little spuds. Let's see, we'll turn it sideways. We got the stick. Oh man, it's actually. Uh, I thought it was the right size. Oh no. The Dove deodorant is no good. No bueno. So, got my old lady's expensive hair spray. Lord mercy, I'm sorry, baby. If you're watching this, A little bit more. Last time, I swear, honey. Last time. Time to put it up. Alright, guys. So here's the one that I built for you guys last night. This one I just slapped together in like 10 seconds. It has nothing. I haven't cut it or anything to fit so it's all just kind of slapped together and this is my old one as you can see and this one used to shoot like 300 yards 400 yards i don't know about 400 yards but it shoot a piece so that one's just slapped together as you can see there's no igniter in it and this one's actually three inch to inch and a half so to go over what you need you can get this at Lowe's, these pre-cuts. These are pre-cut pieces. They're two foot. You're gonna get the two foot piece. You can get you a piece of four inch PVC. You're gonna go four inch to four, uh, four inch to two inch reducer. So this is a reducer, four to two reducer, and a four inch clean out. <laughs> and then this is just a simple igniter that you can buy you can buy anywhere. Um, I got these on Amazon. Uh, this is an old grill igniter. I bought a whole pack of them. There's like five or six for like 10 bucks. So you can do the same thing with any size pipe. Like I said, this is a three to inch and a half reducer and then a three inch clean out. Um, so that one's a future project that I hadn't done yet. And this is my old one, and it shoots freaking, like, nearly 300 yards. So, yeah, guys, it's pretty simple. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Smash that like and subscribe button for me, guys. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys.